Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan. In today's video, I am going to show you three ways to transfer photos from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone. With these three methods, you can transfer every bit of your data from one phone to another. So please watch this video till the very end as I will be explaining everything step by step. And if you find this video helpful by any means, then please share it with your friends. Come on guys, sharing is always free, it doesn't cost you anything. So with that being said, let's get started. Our first method is using Zapier to transfer photos from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone. First of all, install Zapier on both of your devices. So just go to App Store and search for Zapier and install Zapier on both of your devices. Once you have installed that, now open Zapier on your Android device. Okay, after that, tap on this red button and Create a group from your Android device. Once the group is created, now you need to join this group from your iPhone. To do that, open Zapier on your iPhone. Next, tap on this red button. Switch to QR code and scan the QR code from your Android device. Now you need to join the Wi-Fi which is coming from your Android device. So here is, here is the Wi-Fi name. So just go to settings, Wi-Fi and join this network. So it's asking for the password, here the password. So just type the password as exactly as it is. Once your phones are connected with each other, now go to your iPhone and select the photos and videos that you want to transfer. So let's say I want to transfer these photos. Once you have done with your selection, just tap on send. And it will be received to your Android device. If you want to transfer data from your Android to iPhone, just select the type of data that you want to transfer you can transfer photos and videos you can transfer music from your android to iphone but those transfer music will be stored inside the zapier app you cannot import that music to your iphone's apple music our next method is using a third party software to transfer data from iphone to android and the software i'm going to use is called dr phone switch you can get the software from the link given in the description below the software is available for Windows as well as Mac users. And this is one of the best iPhone to Android transfer software available in the market. So just go ahead, download and install the software into your computer. After that, open it up. As you can see, this software is all in one package, especially designed for Android and iOS devices. With this software, you can do a lot of great stuff, like you can recover any kind of deleted files from your Android and iOS devices. You can transfer data between your phone and your computer. You can backup and restore your iPhone and Android devices. You can also unlock or remove lock screen from your Android and iOS devices. And one of my favorite features of the software is Restore Social App. With this feature, you can backup and restore your WhatsApp messages to your computer. You can transfer WhatsApp messages from one phone to another like if you want to transfer WhatsApp messages from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone. You can do so by using the software. This software is not free though, you have to purchase it. But if you purchase the software, it worth every single penny of your money. Alright, moving on. In order to transfer data from iPhone to Android, just click on switch option over here. Next, connect both your phones to PC with a USB cable. Okay, once both of your phones are connected, just give it time so it can load data from both of your devices. Now you can see on your left side you have source phone. Now this is the phone that will send the data and destination phone will receive the data. So in my case I'm going to transfer data from my iPhone to Android so I'm just going to click on flip and it's going to change the order. Now select the type of files that you want to transfer. With this software you can transfer everything from one phone to another except notes applications and safari history that is the only missing feature of the software other than that you can transfer your music photos videos and everything from one phone to another and remember the transfer of music from the software will be imported to your iphone's apple music so in my case i'm going to select all the files you can select whatever option you want after that click on start transfer Next, the transferring process will begin. Once the process is completed, you will have all your selected files transferred to your another device. Our last method is 
using SanDisk wireless pen drive to transfer photos from iPhone to Android. This pen drive is one of my favorite gadgets so far and I use it all the time. With this pen drive, you can transfer data between three devices simultaneously. And this pen drive is available in different sizes from 16 gigabytes all the way up to 256 gigabytes. I will leave the link of this product in the description below just in case you want to check it out. So now let me show you how you can use this pen drive. Before you start using this pen drive, make sure it's fully charged. You can charge it with your computer or, or any charger that has USB port on it. And once it's fully charged, you can use it for 4 hours continuously. And it takes only 2 hours to charge this pen drive. So as I said before, this pen drive has wireless functionality in it. In order to turn it on, here's the switch. Just press and hold on it and you will see a white LED which means Wi-Fi is turned on in this pen drive. Now all you need to do is install the app on both of your devices. So to do that, go to your phones and search for the app called SanDisk Connect Drive. Here's the app. Just install this app on both of your devices. After that, go to your phone settings, go to Wi-Fi, and connect to the Wi-Fi which is coming from this pen drive. So I'm just going to connect my both devices to this pen drive. Okay, once both your devices are connected, now open the app that you just downloaded. So here is the app. As you can see, here are the files that are already stored inside this pen drive. The way it works is you need to upload files to this pen drive. Once it's uploaded, you can download or stream it on any device. So let's say I want to upload some photos to this pen drive and you don't have to worry. Uploading and downloading doesn't require internet connection. Everything is done without internet connection. So in order to upload file to this pen drive, just tap on this plus sign and it's going to load all the photos and videos from your iPhone. So now all you need to do is select the ones that you want. So I'm just going to select these photos, my kids with her babies. After that, tap on this red button. Now you can either upload those photos to this pen drive's directory or you can create a new folder and paste inside it. So I'm just going to paste it right here. Okay, once it's done, now you can access those photos from your Android device. So go to your Android device and open the app. Send this connect drive. Now you will see all the files that are stored inside this pen drive. So just select the ones. So let's say I want to select these. After that, tap on this three dots. Now here you have an option to download photos to your device. Just tap on it. Okay, now the process is completed. If you want to transfer data from your Android to your iPhone using this pen drive, just tap on this plus sign and select what you want to transfer so in my case I'm gonna transfer music so select the music that you want after that tap on select destination and upload it here okay now the musics are uploaded now let's see as you can see, these are the music files. Just like Zapier, you cannot transfer this music to your iPhone's Apple Music. Instead of that, you can either access it from here or you can save it to this pen drive's application. To do that, just tap on select and tap on this upload button. And here you have an option to save this pen drive to downloads folder. Once the musics are saved, you can access them through this application. So to do that, just go to my downloads and here, here you will see the music and other files that you have saved. And one of my favorite features of this pen drive is with this pen drive, you can transfer your contacts from one phone to another. So let's say I want to transfer my contacts from my iPhone to my Android. To do that, just go to settings, scroll all the way down. Here you have an option, backup under the contacts, just tap on it and select your contacts. In my case, I'm gonna select all, tap on backup, and it's gonna backup all your contacts to this pen drive. Once you have 
your contacts backed up on this pen drive, you can either save it to your computer or you can restore it to another iPhone or Android device. So now my contacts are backed up on this pen drive. I can easily access it from any device. So let's say I want to transfer my contacts to this Android. To do that, go to settings and again, under the contacts, you will have two options. This time, select restore. Do not choose backup because we've already backed up our contacts. So first of all, tap on restore and here you have backup files. Just select the ones that you want. So in my case, this is the contacts from my iPhone. Next, all you need to do is tap on restore. All your contacts from your iOS device will be transferred to your Android device. That is the very cool feature of this pen drive. So there you have it guys. That was my three methods to transfer photos from iPhone to Android. Please let me know which one of these methods you are going to try. And also, if you learned something new from this video, then please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. And if you want more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel with notification on. And I'll catch you on the next one. Stay blessed.